Oh, um, so yesterday I found this um, nearly empty and very old pot of um, ugly smooth chamois cream in the back of the cupboard. One's having a bit of clear out, so I thought I'd do a, a bit of an overview of um, what it is uh, and why we use it and where it comes from. I think it's a bit of a, a weird thing in um, in cycling and I'm not sure everyone's familiar with it or, or even know, knows it exists. Um, so if you're not, um, the reason it's called chamois cream is because initially, uh, in times gone by, it was used to soften the chamois in uh, bib shorts. And back in the day, the chamois was actually a bit like this car washing chamois. It was a real chamois lover. And if you've ever used one of these, you can, you, you know, when it dries, it can go a bit stiff and um, it's a bit, it's a bit rough. Um, so. Um, what 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 the 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 aim of this stuff is? You, you you'd get you get your chamois cream. You'd smother it over the chamois inside your your shorts, and then that drying, quite crisp and s crispy and stiff feel of the chamois um, would 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 disappear, and it would get softened as you moistened it with the cream. Thankfully, nowadays we're um, blessed with lush foam um, chamois, so uh, we haven't got to worry about that quite so much. However, um. Today it's used more as a as an anti an anti chafing or anti friction cream. As you can see, this uh, raffle one here, it's got an anti anti friction skin cream. Um, so basically, wherever you've got your your ass, your, your balls, your gooch or whatever on the on the pad or on the saddle, um, to even today with with modern materials, people experience chafing in saddle sores, um, and. Uh, the, the whole point of this cream is to, to, to moisturise and treat treat your skin um, well, um, particularly when you're you've got long days in the saddle or if you get wet when you're when you're cycling. Um, so they're all they're all very similar, and um, I was going to do some reviews, but there's not too much to say. There's not there's not much in these, um, so I'll, I'll get to give a bit of an overview of some of the um, some of the features, if you like. Um, so basically, there are main two main schools of thought when it comes to uh, to applying this stuff, either you smother it on the the chamois in your shorts, or you slap it on your balls and groin uh, and, and and rub it in, um, or a combination uh, of both. I'm in the second camp uh, usually, um, and uh, I think it just means you can really get it to really make sure you moisturise the skin where where you need it, particularly if you're prone to you know chafing or saddle sores in a particular particular spot um, you can just make sure that it reduces irritation as, as much as possible um, so this isn't really a review but I've, I've put them in roughly what order I, I think uh, of um, which ones are, I think is best the this being the the worst and this being the the, the best one um, there's really little in it um, cost is one of the main <laughs> main considerations which why I've put the rough one in the middle and not not at the end so um this utterly smooth one, it's, it was 10 quid I think at the time, 220 grams. It's quite runny, um, it, it's not. it's got a very lightly scented, um, but um, it does the trick. Um, not too much to say about this one, it, it's pretty standard, um, and like I said, it's quite, it's quite runny. It's the runniest of the, the three here anyway. Um, uh, the second one is the Rafa. Uh, chamois cream and no surprises here it is the most expensive um, this was a gift but um, it's only 150 mil and that is 15 pounds um, so that's quite quite a bit more the the texture on, on this one is really really nice it's not runny at all um, uh, but uh, it's almost silky smooth and it's really smelly it really smells of lavender um, but it's quite good seems quite good lasting and it's Sort of makes your your skin tingle a very very little bit, um, so you know when it's uh, it's on there. I'm not sure what they've got in there to make it do that. If it's peppermint or or something, it just just sort of tingles uh, on your skin. You've made it to warm you warms it up a very little bit. It's quite nice. Um, Fifteen quid for 150 mil though. Um, I tend to apply a lot of this stuff. Uh, you need to be quite liberal in your application of it. So that's quite 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 expensive um, there. And then this one here from Muckoff, um, although I think they've partnered with someone here, Athlete Performance, but it's Muckoff as in the, the lub lubrication uh, company. 
Um, this is fifteen pounds again, but it's two hundred and fifty mil, uh, I think. Yeah, two hundred fifty mil um, in this one. Uh, again, this one smells really nice. I don't know what it smells like, um, but uh, I really like it. Um, and it's it's just a bit thicker. If I just show you the consistency of this one, so you can see how how thick this is. It's certainly not runny, but the the texture is really nice. It's really really smooth. It's just Don't want to double dip. Um, um, that one there. However, this uh, this Makov stuff is much much thicker. So you can see the there. It's it's much much thicker. Um, and I think it it feels like it might last a little bit longer um, because of that. And uh, when when you're when you're rubbing it in, it takes a little bit more to to rub in. Again, this one. It's got something in it as well, which makes it tingle a little bit. You know, once you've put it on your bits, um, that it's there. Um, smells nice. Um, uh, again, uh, you don't need to use quite as much of this as you do. You do from shut up, Alexa. Um, uh, as the as the raffle one, and it's a bit bit cheaper. Um, so there we go. Uh, that chamois cream for you. If you have any questions, um, please. Um, message me uh, or leave a comment below um, and as always please like and subscribe